Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and in today's video I would like to show you a short movie that I scored by the end of last year and I suggest we first have a watch and a listen of the movie and then I would like to go into detail what I did and why. To my dearest Harry. Today should be your ninth birthday. Happy birthday, Baba. Not a day has passed in these nine years where I haven't wondered what your favourite colour is, what your favourite subject at school is, what vegetables do you push to the edge of your plate. If you're anything like me, you hate chemistry and hide your broccoli under the mashed potato. My heart aches each day I spend without you. I will always remember looking down at your little face the day you were born. I want you to know that you never did anything wrong. I just couldn't offer you the life you deserved. You are so loved by your mum and dad and I know they will offer you the world. I love you, Bubba. Tracy, kiss kiss. So, I met Becca, who directed the film, in a uh, Facebook group uh, online. Yeah, as so many contacts since we are in this uh, Corona situation. And what's so funny is the first thing that I received was just a script about the whole movie. So um, there, there haven't been shot any scenes yet. It was just clear it would be around two minutes. And I should get into the right mood um, just by reading the script. And I'm, I'm smiling because it's the second time that it happens to me that someone handing out, in this case, it was a script. In another case, it was the extract of a book, like read this, get into the right mood and then come up with something, please. And yeah, um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, what I did. And I just laid out some chords and uh, let's go into it a little bit. Um, I mean, maybe you realized lately I'm always getting back to the same libraries because by now, for me, they are my bread and butter libraries as I really have a certain output. But having a day job, a family, writing music and running this YouTube channel, um, you see my, my time frame is really limited so I need to work really quick and to work really quick there is no chance to get always the newest and the fanciest library and to run behind every trend maybe even just to create content like I have this and I have this and I have this um no don't get me wrong I love new libraries to discover them if they're really worth it like like lately the Westwood Untamed series but if it comes you know just to work uh, to have a certain output I have my go-to libraries I know them know your libraries know your tools know your programs um, that's so important because then you know you can work quite fast because you know the sounds you know how they behave you know how they react to the CC sliders and all that so what did I do 
Um, the first thing I did, obviously, as always, then once I had the movie, but before I just um, played with um, the Symphobia, I knew the story and I knew it wasn't a happy story, but you can't tell from the beginning. So I wanted to have it neutral at the beginning. So the whole thing starts with the lovely, lovely, that I use so often, Symphobia, uh, the string ensemble, long notes, just laying out what is a C. You know, it's in the key of C. Then I have even the from the Orchestral Essentials 2, the small violins and viola ensemble playing the line above. But what I do is this. Sorry, um, the faders must be down. But what I do, I avoid the third. So you can't really tell from this. What is it? Is it major, happy, or is it minor, sad, because the third is missing. So if I add the third to it, it makes it positive. If I add the minor third, it makes it sad. I avoid this for the moment. So the, 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 you know, the music goes on on this C bass. And then in the movie, um, she starts to talk about, I just muted the scene. Let's switch this on. Today should be your ninth birthday. You see what happened there. Um, I, I have the piano going a little bit on the, and then it changes. It goes to the C major, introducing the minor third as she pronounces then. Today should be your ninth birthday. Today should be your ninth birthday. So you realize, so, oh wow, she's writing a letter to a kid. Um, not even being really sure about the age. And so maybe this is not as happy as it is could be from the from the beginning you know just you know a mother writing a, a letter to to the child or or whatever okay and then yeah the voice continues not a day has passed in these 9 years where i haven't wondered what your favorite color is at this moment you know they must have been or separated or the child died or whatever. So it, you get the mood, it's dramatic. So I'm changing the patch. I'm going from the very soft, very light um, string ensemble, long notes, the Sordino patch to Lumina, where you have these wonderful Lumina um, Symphobian Sordinos and they sound like this. Wonderful sound, warm, but more dramatic. There, there is nothing else going on. You know, always these chords going a one note up or one note down. Um, the piano even is quite an interesting instrument. I've chosen the Westwood Alt Piano, um, a piano that I really started to love over the last month for the simple fact it's so versatile. This is a piano that you can um, mangle the sound so easily. You know, from natural sound to a felted sound, just by this knob, you can add a texture to it if you want, you know, the earth, or the grain, or the air. You can, and I love this, you can decide if the front cover um, is on or off. I mean, I remember my beloved Kawai piano that I had back in the old days in Munich. And when I played the piano, I always took off um, this huge wooden plate in front because I love to see the hammers going on the strings and this. And you can simulate it here. You can even say the piano, how it's turned to the player, to the audience and, and all that stuff. Wonderful piano library. If you're looking for piano library, old piano from Westwood. And um, yeah, 
the, the sound continues, the movie continues, even there, with the small violin and viola patch. Then I bring in a new element, which is here, a clock. Just a ticking clock. It's from the wonderful Detonator Rage, which you think, you know, this thing would be just hard hitting trailer and No, there are really nice, interesting elements in it, like in this case, the clock. Why the clock? Because I just thought the pain of that lady um, won't go away. This is not a wound that will heal over time. This will get worse because she's really suffering from the situation nine years after the separation. Um, so I, I brought in the clock just to get it even more dramatic. And and there is another wonderful instrument playing this. Now the chords are getting really close, you know, They're really dark. I brought in the older cello, this one here, and this is really interesting. Um, it goes a little bit into the direction of the Untamed series. I mean, it's way more limited in its improvisations. But you do have these wonderful improvisations. Make it so interesting, you know, make it so human. And this is just one patch, it's a patch low tide. Then I have a simple sustain note, which in this case here fitted in perfectly. just to give a little more body. Then there comes this delicate tremolo. Just to add some urge to it. You see, and then we go again, just for a sustained note, oh sorry. which ends again in this in this low tide. Then we come to the titles. As the titles go, um, I just bring up the theme again with the string sardinos. So the patch that I started the whole movie is ending the whole movie. Again, the tremolo from the, from the cello. Um, and that's it uh, for me. Because in a movie like this, you know, the, 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 the monologue, is the king the story is the king and what we composers should do is just you know create a certain mood a, a, a certain sound world if you will um to bring the um, viewer of that of that movie in in a certain um mood to underline the pictures this is why i didn't go for anything fancy there is not a melody there is no no brass there is no it's just soft you know these soft sardino strings this wonderful felted piano the small violin and then the older cello really with these um incredible incredible uh, even here improvisations and that's everything i did for this movie so I really like, you know, even the fact from this sound to that sound. And I guess we are through with this movie. Before we come to an end with this video, I would like to draw your attention to Tom C. He's having a wonderful uh, YouTube channel. He's a nice guy. He's an awesome musician. And one of his last videos really caught my attention as he was doing a review with a funny title, maybe the worst string library that I have. 
So yes, he's showing the library how he used it in various projects and, and the articulations and all that stuff, but look for yourself. There's many things we haven't said From all the time stuck in our heads From all the time stuck in our heads That voice, I mean, isn't that voice gorgeous? So in my opinion, if you don't know him, check out his channel, definitely worth it, in my opinion. And yes, I think that's it for today. So if you like content like this, I hope this video was useful for some of yours, then consider to subscribe to my channel to don't miss out the next one. If you'd like to support me for the night shifts that I do to, to, to make these videos, you have the chance that in the description is the link to buy me a coffee or even to support me on Patreon. Um, especially over the next month, I will publish a whole lot of videos over the shoulder, behind the scenes of actual projects that I'm doing. There's a really interesting one with an Italian violinist. I will talk about it soon. And some of these videos, they will be exclusively on Patreon. So if you're interested in that stuff, then you, you have the chance to support me there. And that's it. I mean, as always, make good music. See you in the next video then. Bye bye. Oh, you're still here? Looking for a new library? Check this one out. You want to learn something new? This one might be the right one for you. Here, you can subscribe to my channel and consider even visiting my Patreon page for even more exclusive content.